Okay, we're live. I'm live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello, Om Swastiastu from Bali, Indonesia. I'm Dr. Jinju Dasala, also known as the Goddess Brain Doctor, and I'm here assisting women all around the world in activating their goddess brains, awakening their feminine wisdom, and living their divine purpose. I am also the founding mother of Nyasa Institute, where we weave science, soul, and soma for the purpose of healing and transformation. And today, I'm so excited, I am going to interview the founding father of Nyasa Institute, my husband, Nova. And let's see, he is here. I'm going to give him a wave. We've never done this before. So, um, yeah, so this should be, this is already really fun. Is coming on. There he is. Hi. Hello. Um, so those of you popping on, I think I have it in the title. Hopefully you've seen um, some of the flyer about the buzz of the event, the live global activation event that we are doing, um, that we are doing hosting on 222, 2022. It'll be 222 in North America. It'll be the morning. Um, of the 23rd here in here in Asia and Australia she was like hey why don't why don't we do a series of uh, live interviews so that so that um, so that so that the, the the presenters can get to know each other but also even more importantly so that you all can get to know our presenters um, and so that's that's the purpose of this and so I thought we'd kick it off um, Thought we'd kick it off. I was like, why don't I just start this? Um, and I thought I would interview interview him because he's on the magic menu. He, yes, he is. He's on the magic menu, and this whole event would not be possible without him. Truly, um, he is. He is the co-founder of Nyasa Institute. He's my partner in everything. My life, um, raising our beautiful son Sakai, and um, just in this in this wild ride on this planet in this lifetime um and i think this is yeah this is you know we do a lot of different things at nyasa institute and this 222 event i think is, uh, this really gets a little bit more personal for us doesn't it um in terms of we have been we have been anticipating this date i have been anticipating in anticipating this date since before I um, actually met Nova, but then when I met him, and he was so open and um, and so passionate about just living life in a certain way, which is a, all about creating magic, creating magic on Earth. Um, and he quickly was inspired by the numerology of 22, 222. We ended up getting married on the 22nd of October. Um, in 2011, and um, and his numerology is actually he is, he's a fire sign 11. I'm a fire sign two, and it's 44 in Bali right now. And so, um, yeah, he's really, you know, he's he. I I I thought it would be fun for people to hear because I know a lot of people know that at Nyasa Institute, most of our programs are focused on women um, and feminine awakening, the, you know, activating the goddess brain. Um, and also, even with our, even with flow, it's, uh, we have the neurosomatic flow, which, which is for, for both women and men. Um, and yet a lot of these events, really, it's, it's, we hold space, not just for women, but for, for honoring the feminine. We're honoring the feminine. And and so, you know, I think there's, you know, a lot of people, I feel like people often are curious, like, what would inspire a man, right? You know, what what is your inspiration? What is your, what has been your inspiration to, like, say yes to going all in with Nyasa Institute and this work and, and then into 222? The reason why, well, most, some of you may not know that I came from a corporate background and I worked in high tech, working for startups, things like this. And I've always wanted to work 
in an environment or with a company where you start from the ground up, like you're employee number two or employee number one after the founder kind of thing. And then you do all this legwork, you know, you work for years and all of a sudden more people get hired and more people start to buy your products and things like this. And I thought I would have to find that in high tech, like I would have to work for a software company, right? But I found that in Nyasa Institute. I actually found that working with Jinju, I am on the ground floor with her in this work. And oh yeah, it happens to be work that's going to help heal the planet. And I could not say that about working in, in high-tech software. It just wouldn't, wouldn't be anything like that. And so, you know, there are many things that I'm, there are many things that I'm into that I like to make income, but I'll be the first one to admit it's not like that kind of work, no matter how much money I make from that. It's directly helping someone to heal the trauma in their life so they become a better mother or a better sister or a better brother, something like this. And it's always been a dream of mine to take that money and to support something like what we're doing at NIAS Institute. But with NIAS Institute, I am hands-on. I'm not in front of the camera much. You know, Jinju, you know, all of the work that she's done, starting from when we first started going out in 2010, when I went to go visit her in Denver, and, and you had your little office in this house. I remember, you know, you were telling me what you had done, and, and this was so, so proud of you, sweetie, to where we're putting together these events where we have 50 to 70 people already signed up for this event to where our training programs, not inexpensive ones either, that fill up every year. Our first retreat in 2015, 20 people full. You're making so me cry, by the way. It's just the truth. Oh. So it's been an honor for me to like see this growth of like, yeah, I was there in the beginning when she was in her little rinky dink office. I was actually, you know, making what she can in addition to her day job. And so first off, it's just, it's an honor for me to, to um, support and be witness to your growth, sweetie, and to see the lives that you are, that you have changed. Many women have already said they owe their lives to you, and they do. They do. And so I am proud to be part of NIASA Institute because it is work that is trying to heal the planet. And it's going about it in a way where we are supporting the feminine. Now, maybe before we started doing this work, I would be more like, well, why don't we support everyone? Why, does it, why not men also? Yeah. You know, that's a good point. and I think that's going to come. I feel a lot of our work does need to focus on women because the more women that we can help, the more with who they are, with coming back to themselves, with their voices stronger. I stand here in support of Jinju because I stand in support of women regaining who they are. I believe the path of healing for this planet, and we've seen this time and time again, especially in the last couple of years, we see who's leading things in government. We see who is leading things in media. We see who's leading things in pharmaceutical companies, in the medical world, etc. But all I know is this, is that women have the natural instinct of motherhood. Mm. And more women have the chance from coming, of the, coming from that place of motherhood and nurturing and coming from a place of love. I am in support of this work 
because I want to make the world a better place, if for anyone, for Sakai. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens that this will not only better be better for Sakai, it'll be better for all children on this planet. Mm. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, everybody, I, can you see why I want this man not only on the magic menu 222, but um, in my life, I'm so, so blessed. So blessed. And I think, wow, I want, um, yeah, there's, you said a lot, you said a lot, you said a lot. So thank you for everything you said, and I just feel so honored. Um, and I think definitely one of the reasons I, I married this man is because of this way he has always had, it's just been a part of him, of, of, of honoring not just the feminine, but honoring all life, whether it, this, this feminine awakening is for everyone. And that's why at this 222 event, it is not just for women. And we might want to represent everyone to what this event is too. Yeah, for anyone just joining in or just watching and you're like, wait, what is this 222 event? So basically it's a three hour live activation event. Um, and we have a magic menu and we're all coming together with presenters from all around the world, people from all around the world, bringing, bringing various forms of of, of medicine, mostly in the form of dance or song, prayer, ceremony. We have a, we have a, a shamanic fire ceremony ritual at the end as well. And we have some guided ecstatic dance. So we have, we have our keynote speaker is actually Dr. Elizabeth Satoris, who wrote the book Earth Dance and Gaia's Dance. And the, the intention is the activation of Gaia consciousness of earth consciousness and um you know um i say that it's also divine feminine consciousness but i think of i think i think of the earth as divine i see the mm -hmm. divinity and there's so much we can learn from nature right now and so it's really and there's also just this this consciousness this consciousness is really wanting to pour in and the number so energetically in numerology why is this like what's the big deal there's going to be a bunch of twos in a row like who cares if you're wondering like what like why do people get so excited about that well if you you can kind of think of it as wave wave particles and if you think of quantum physics and energy everything has energy when we have multiple connections right um even in the brain synchronicities synchronicities are the key to creation and so when neurons right wire together neurons that fire together wire together and so that that those new sparks create new new networks and new um new new um fields new intentions new ways of seeing new ways of being and so new here a new possibility and so you know, so anytime humans right bring our consciousness together in a moment even if it's just two people right the power of love there's creation from that so you bring more people in together in that frequency of love and it's even more exciting and potentially powerful what can be created in that and then you bring everybody together when the numbers are coming together right if you have a two fine, great, it's a two, but when a two and a two come together, there is a, there, it, just according to the universal principles of quantum physics, there is there's a connection, there's a synchronicity, and two, 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 and on and on. And I think of these like this, so this wave is kind of coming in of these twos, and, and if you've ever seen a wave, or if you've ever watched a surfer, or if you surf, then you understand. You can think of this as there is a wave that's coming, an energetic wave, and it's going to be this epic, magical, perfect, glassy, like the dolphins are, are swimming with it kind of wave. And we can decide 
if we want to get on the wave and experience it and surf it inside of that portal or not. And, and right so now, I am so like, I'm so over the division. I'm over it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just so over it. Who else out there is just over it? Uh, it's just, it's time to put our differences aside and come together because we know how to do this. So if you're, um, maybe this is the first time you're hearing about the event, you can see my last post. You can get more details. You can go to the page. Um, everyone is welcome. Space is limited. So I suppose we could always increase space if we had that positive problem. And um, yeah, and everyone who joined in, thank you so much for joining and listening and tuning in. And um, we're excited to uh, get as many of our presenters to um, come in and do a live, a really fun live with us so that you can get to know them and their why and their story because everyone who's on the menu was not, um, didn't just end up on the menu by accident. Um, there's beautiful stories behind how, how, every, how it all came together. And I want to, last but not least, I want to just give my biggest, biggest thanks to my, my husband, my soul flow mates, my partner, my everything, Nova, for not only this, just coming on and doing this really fun interview with me, but making all of this possible. I can't imagine doing any of this work without you. And I love you. Thank you. So grateful for you and all the men in the world who, who stand the way you do in harmony with us women and creatures and animals and Gaia consciousness. I love you so much. Thank you. you. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. Aloha. Santi, Santi, Santi.